everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reacting to The Princess Bride, uh, which came out in 1987. Uh, it was directed by William Goldman. Uh, it stars Robin Wright uh, from House of Cards, as we know her, and um, Carl El Carly Ellsway. <laughs> you did it again. It is, uh, <laughs> I was waiting for you to, to say that name because you can't get it as Carrie Ellsway. That's the one. Yeah, yeah. that's the one. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what movies he's been in, honestly. Um, but you suggested that we reacted to this. I've not heard of this before. Um... I said su I suggested it because loads of people uh, in the comments section of previous movies and TV shows have mentioned The Princess Bride and that's something we should do. I know it's a famous movie that I haven't watched. I know bits of the movie, which you could probably count as a spoiler, because um, I remember there was a bit in... I think How I Met Your Mother, the TV okay. show How I Met Your Mother, where there's yeah, a, yeah. like a specific fight scene where a guy has a famous line, uh, I am someone and you did something, so prepare to die. And I can't remember what it was. And they keep on regurgitating that line again and again and again and again. It's obviously from The Princess Bride, but I had like no context to it whatsoever. Um, Robin Wright, uh, has done loads of stuff apart from House of Cards. Yeah, no, I remember her from, from House <laughs> okay. of Cards. So okay, okay. Um, and been loads of movies. Carrie Elwes... I'm <laughs> sure he was in a parody. I don't know which one, but I'm sure I've seen he a poster must, of him. He must have been in a parody. I, I mean, he's probably done loads of stuff, so the movie I'm yeah. about to mention, the people are watching this are going to be like, he's been in far more famous stuff than that. There was a movie called Twister, it was a tornado oh, movie. Yes. He, yes. Was, yeah, he was he yeah. was in that. He I remember that. I remember him from that. Um but apart from that, I have absolutely no idea what this movie could be about. Princess Bride, so it's a fantasy movie. Um that's as much as we both know about it, I think. <laughs> um so let's see what the movie holds. The Princess Bride. Let's check it out. Oh, this 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 kid He's from oh, I can't remember the show now. Boy Meets World? Boy Meets World? Boy Meets World, I'm sure of it. Your grandfather's here. I was just sick. <laughs> huh? Is that Columbo? My father used to read to me when I was sick, and I used to read it to your father. It is Columbo, yeah. Fencing, fighting, torture, revenge. Oh, he's. Uh, this movie is him reading a fairy tale book no, to oh. his grandkid. Buttercup was raised on a small farm in the country of Florida. and tormenting the farm boy that worked there. His name was Wesley, but she never called him that. What did she call him? Farm boy. Farm boy. Polish my horse's saddle. I want to see my face shining in it by morning. As you wish. God is so young. That's good, that's what I was going to say. When he was saying as you wish, what he meant was, I love you. <laughs> you totally the same words. <laughs> <laughs> she realized she truly loved him back. Hold it, hold it. What is this for? <laughs> is this a kissing book? <laughs> a kissing book. Wesley had no money for marriage, so he packed his few belongings and left the farm to seek his fortune across the sea. But what if something happens to you? Then he's not going to make it back. I will always come for you. At least he's doing the right thing by actually trying to find a fortune across the sea. Why, and just leave her? Take her with you. His ship was attacked by the dread pirate oh, Roberts. Oh, no. Who never left captives alive. For days, she neither slept nor ate. I will never love again. Well, this is a bad start. This is a bad start know, to this story. Very more good start, isn't it? <laughs> Five years later, the main square of Florence City was filled as never before. To hear the announcement of the great Prince Humperdinck's bride to be. What is his name? Prince Humperdinck. Princess Buttercup. So she upscaled quite massively. Bit, yeah. She did not love him. Then why did he marry her? Despite Humperdinck's reassurance Probably that she would grow to love him. Oh. She thought he she he thought she'd grow to love him. Yeah. We are but that's Andre the Giant. That is Andre the Giant. And he's from Young Sheldon. There is nothing nearby. Not for miles. 
Then there will be no one to hear oh, you scream. Oh, so sinister in it. <laughs> Bloody hell! Look how big his hands are. <laughs> when he finds your body dead on the Gilder frontier, his suspicions will be totally confirmed. I just don't think he's right, killing an innocent girl. Did the word "think" escape your lips? <laughs> You were not hired for your brains, you hippopotamic landman! I mean, I'm pretty sure he can flick you and you die. <laughs> I will kill her. And remember this. Never forget this! Oh my god. When I found you, you were so slobbering drunk, you couldn't buy brandy! Throw him over. The short man is mean. <laughs> That's probably what <laughs> Very mean. Is, but... Stop doing that. We can all relax. It's almost over. Yeah, sure, I know what whenever someone says, I'm paranoid, isn't it? yeah, but whenever someone says you can relax, don't relax. Out of curiosity, why do you ask? <laughs> no reason. Suddenly, I just happened to look behind us and something is dead. <laughs> <laughs> you said that earlier. But what flag is it? What? Oh, oh, God. Oh, wow. Going! I don't swim. <laughs> I only dog paddle. Yeah! It's gonna have to be you, you short mean man. Those are the shrieking eels. She doesn't get eaten by the eels at this time. I'm explaining to you because you look nervous. <laughs> I mean, I look nervous. Thanks for that, Granddad. She was frightened. The eels started to charge her, and then. Oh, oh, oh yeah. wow! <laughs> Whoever he is, he's too late. Of insanity. Okay, now I need to know why it's called. Really... I don't yeah, know why it's yeah. called yeah. the Cliffs of Insanity. I was gonna say, why are they putting armor on him? But it's like it's a, a harness. harness, yeah, because he's strong enough to carry them. He's climbing the rope, and he's gaining on us. <laughs> inconceivable. Oh, really? Is it inconceivable now? He is moving very, very fast. Well, that solved that problem. Okay. Inconceivable. You can He loves using that word. I don't think you know what it means. <laughs> I love how they're in awe of him. I'm going to do him left handed. You know what a hurry we're in. Uh, it's the only way I can be satisfied if I use my right. Over to oh, he's an expert swordsman, is he? Swordsman, yeah. You could help him by maybe throwing a bit of the rope down. Yeah, look, yeah, yeah. help him up with the rope yeah. and then... Thank you. Oh, God. You don't by any chance happen to have six fingers on your right hand? <laughs> <laughs> a random question. My father was slaughtered by a six-fingered man. I love my father. So naturally, I challenged his murderer to a duel. And won. The sword. Oh. Mm. He gave me this. Ooh. How old were you? I was 11 years old. Okay, that's messed up. When I was strong enough, I dedicated my life to the study of fence. Oh, so that's why he's a, a good swordsman. I thought you would have killed his... I will go up to the six-fingered man and say... My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. That's the line I heard from How I Met Your Mother. Uh. I certainly hope you find him someday. You seem a decent fellow. I hate to kill you. You seem a decent fellow. I hate to die. <laughs> they become weird. friends like in this full space of time. Maybe he should use his right hand. I mean, he's pretty good with his left. I oh, know, that's what I was thinking. I know something you don't know. And what is that? Watch the cliff. I am not left handed. Ooh. Well, okay, I... so he's had to use his right hand. Because yeah, at least he made him do that. Him. Yeah. I'm not left handed either. <laughs> oh my god, they both. What the? <laughs> now it's a proper duel, isn't it? Oh, he's much better than you. Since I can't have you following me either. That's fair. Mm, he's already in. Oh my god, he shattered the shit out of that rock as well. I did that in 
purpose. I don't have to miss. You'll put down your rock and I'll put down my sword and we'll try and kill each other like civilized people. I can kill you now. I mean, if you put down your weapon, he's like, uh, he's a very you famous just wrestler. Up like a little <laughs> toy. Why are you wearing a mask? Were you burn the acid or something like that? Oh no, it's just uh, terribly <laughs> comfortable. I think everyone will be wearing them in the future. <laughs> if one of those punches lands, he's dead. I'm a what? <laughs> I do not envy you the headache you will have when you awake. But in the meantime, rest well and dream of large women. <laughs> <laughs> You're no match for my brains. You're that smart. Let me put it this way. Have you ever heard of Plato, Aristotle? <laughs> really? Socrates, You're, you're comparing yourselves to them? <laughs> Call them morons. What you do not smell is called Iocane powder and is among the more deadly poisons known to man. Huh. Oh, they're going to play a game of which one has the poison in it. Where is the poison? I choose. What in the world can that be? What? Where? Nah, he chose the wrong one, hasn't he? You're a goner. I switched glasses when your back was turned. Ha <laughs> ha, you fool! Nah. It was in his glass yeah, all along. Yeah, it was in his glass all along. <laughs> <laughs> his uh, opening argument was that it there was in his um. It was in his glass anyway. All that time it was shortcut that was poisoned. Mm -hmm. They were both poisoned. Oh. I spent the last few years building up an immunity to Iocane powder. Oh. <laughs> you just, you just listen to him like waffle for like five minutes as well. She is alive, or was an hour ago. She is otherwise when I find her. I shall be very put out. <laughs> you kill my love. On the high seas, your ship attacked. The dread pirate Roberts never takes prisoners. That's who she thinks he yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. I died that day. Oh, he's trying to figure out if she um yeah, still loves she him. Just, yeah, actually loves him. Yeah. You can die yeah, because I was going to say he's talking Hell. in the th oh shh. <laughs> oh. oh my sweet Wesley, what have I done? Oh god. Okay, I mean, I wouldn't <laughs> fall head first down a cliff like what the. Fuck? <laughs> Uh, oh my god! You know you could break your bones. Oh my oh, god! You could die. Look, there's rocks at the bottom. They are headed dead into the fire swamp. The hell is a fire swamp? Isn't it funny how uh, <laughs> that's the way he revealed himself to her? Yeah. Rolling down yeah. the hill as you wish. Oh no, no, please. Oh, it's a kissing book again. What's the matter? Kissing again. <laughs> Someday you may not mind so much. <laughs> exactly. Your big fiance is too late. Damn. No need to have a go at the fiance. More steps and we'll be safe in the fire swamp. Safe in the fire swamp. That's contradictory. I don't think anyone's ever said that. Yeah. What is going on? I don't know what that sound is. Are there people? Whoa. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Okay. So is it called the fire swamp because it's so? Because this so shit happens. A, no, it's in the gas. Obviously, it's so dense inside. I have no idea. Well, Roberts had grown so rich, he wanted to retire. So we sailed ashore, took on an entirely new crew, and he stayed aboard for a while as first mate, all the time calling me Roberts. And once the crew believed, I, he left the ship, and I have been Roberts ever since. That is a gullible crew, unless they look very much alike. But then also it depends on whether anyone's seen that guy as Roberts. It's just a mask. It's not like yeah. covered his entire... Oh, shit. Hey, you better oh, go after that. Uh, so the tree doesn't okay, someone... Break. What the hell are you? What, what the, the hell, hell is are that? you? Some sort of radioactive creature. That was crazy. I don't know why they showed that little animal walking past. It was like, what, what was it? I thought he was going to chew on the... The rope? Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. That's what they showed it to us. I mean, it's not Badger. big, right? 
Was it big? Yeah, yeah. Firstly, what about the RUSs? Rodents of unusual size? <laughs> I don't think they exist. <laughs> Bloody hell, look at the size <laughs> oh of that Oh my god, thing. I think it's massive. <laughs> Ooh. So dramatic, isn't it? It's just... <laughs> Oh no. I oh, tell no. you once again, surrender will not happen. Put it down, Wesley. Promise to return him to his ship. I swear it will be done. Once we're out of sight, take him back to Florin and throw him in the pit of despair. Oh damn. He's not as honourable as he's a man of his word, isn't he? He's not as honourable as we thought he was. Wow, he lifted her with ease. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> I was wondering the giant for a second. <laughs> oh, he's got six fingers. It's an ego's... Um, six fingers on your right hand. Father's Someone killer. Was looking for you. Yeah. Oh. Okay, it's the end of that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? Where am I? <laughs> God. Don't even think about trying to escape. Oh, is it? I thought that was his normal voice for a second. The king died that very night. Oh. And before the following dawn, Buttercup and Humperdinck were married. Oh, no. Well, that was quick. I'm telling you, you're messing up the story. Oh, wow. Get it right. Do you want me to go on with this? Just wait for the story to finish, kid. You had love in your hands. And you gave it up. Oh, this, is a, this is a dream. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, how can anyone know about it? No one yeah. was there. It was 10 days till the wedding. Uh, uh, well done, Grandad. I love Wesley. I always have. I know now I always will. God, I thought that dog was one of those rats for a second. I was... <laughs> Consider our wedding off. You um, return this Westley to his ship. Pirates are not known to be men of their words. It's clever how he's turning this on him because he knows he's obviously tortured. You write four copies of a letter. I'll send my four fastest ships, one in each direction. If Westley wants you, bless you both. If not, please consider me as an alternative to suicide. No, you better have to. Oh, what a romantic sentence. Please consider me as an alternative to suicide. But when I hired Vazini to have her murdered on our engagement... Oh, he hired him. But it's going to be so much more moving when I strangle her on our wedding night. The nation will be truly outraged. They'll demand we go to war. This guy's insane. Yeah. Ah. What? Are you coming down into the pit? Oh, okay. God. Oh damn! What kind of machine is this? I have no idea. He got suction cups on his chest. What the I, hell was I, that? I, 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 I was gonna say something, but I thought no. I was I'm, I'm not gonna say anything. I don't know what it's doing. Instead of sucking water, I'm sucking life. Shit! I've just sucked one year of your life away. That is crazy. That's where my hand goes. I want the thief's forest emptied before I wed. It won't be easy, sir. Try ruling the world sometime. <laughs> he wasn't trying to make a comparison, you idiot. Is everybody out? Almost. There's a sponge giving us some trouble. Will you give him some trouble? Oh, an ego. Oh, have they made it back? Yeah. No, he just said the Spaniard. Hold there! Keep your hoder. <laughs> Waiting for this. They don't know he's dead. <gasps> wow. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and as Fezzik nursed his inebriated friend back to health, he told Inigo of Bazzini's death and the existence of Count Rugen, the six fingered man, handled the news surprisingly well. <laughs> Fezzik <laughs> took great care in reviving in <laughs> Take great care! It's hot and cold. <laughs> Let's go. Where? Find the men in black, obviously. Well, you don't know where he is. 
Don't bother me with trifles. After 20 years, at last my father's soul will be at um, peace. <laughs> there will be blood tonight! But you still need to know where he is. <laughs> yeah, he still has no idea. You never sent the ships. Yeah. Don't bother lying. Doesn't matter. Wesley will come for me anyway. You're a silly girl. Well, that fell up. That fell apart really, really quickly. You were nothing but a coward with a heart full of fear. I would not say such things if I were you. She just did, bro. Oh, you're gonna kill her anyway. What's the let, let her have a let her have a piece. <laughs> Why is he running? Where's he going? Kid to oh, kill to him. To the suction room. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! No, you're gonna take fifty years of his life. Do you hear? That is the sound of ultimate suffering. Excuse me. Pardon me. It's important. Why did he just let? <laughs> I was going to say, get him to go in front. I thought he was just going to get him to run and just clear a path. Jump on his back. You get that from this grove, yes? Jug his memory. No, don't kill him. Oh, <laughs> Fezzik. I need you to guide my sword. Please. <laughs> He's not a metal detector. And he's standing right next to they've knocked him out right next to the entrance. That's the funny thing. <laughs> the this, is, uh, this is hilarious. Oh my god, of all the things you <laughs> Totally meant to do that. Totally meant to do that. Ooh. Ooh. Is that the suction or yeah, from his wound part. previously? Oh no, that's his wound. Does it mean he's dead? Who kills Prince Hopperdink? Nobody. Nobody kills him. He lives. What kind of fairy tale story is this? Are you the Miracle Max who worked for the king all those years? Thank you so much for bringing up such a painful subject. While you're at it, why don't you give me a nice paper cut and pour lemon juice on it? We're closed! Mike Wachowski. Um, Billy, Billy Crystal. Crystal? Yeah. I've seen worse. <laughs> You've seen worse? <laughs> what? Okay. We're in a terrible rush. <laughs> Don't rush me, Sonny. You rush a miracle, man, you get rotten miracles. You promised me that you would never say that name. Well, Humperdinck? Ah! Humperdinck! Ah! Humperdinck! Ah! <laughs> I make him better, Humperdinck suffers? Humiliations galore. The hell is that? Ta-da. A miracle pill. Chocolate coating makes it go down easier, but you have to wait 15 minutes for full potency. I want to know what famous actress she is. The Malteser. How long do we have to wait before if we know the miracle works? Your guess is as good as mine. Oh, wow. I'll beat you as a part. I'll take you both together. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are we enemies? Why am I on this war? Where's Buttercup? Let me explain. No, there is too much. <laughs> there is but one work in Castlegate. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you just turn him around? Now, I'll need a sword eventually. Why? I can't even lift one. True, but that's hardly common knowledge, is it? <laughs> you, can, you can't even lift your head up. I do not marry tonight. My Wesley will save me. Yeah, you're not going to make it. Oh, but he's, the granddad said he doesn't die, he lives, right? Yeah. Marriage. <laughs> Marriage is what brings us together today. <laughs> oh my god. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting it either. And the twin pad forwards. There will be no survivors. Just put him on top of the wheelbarrow. Not yet. They can barely. Inigo's doing all of that. He's pushing him and carrying Wesley. Light him. Light him. Light him. Oh wow. The twin parrot robbers takes no survivors. Then <laughs> True. The contrast between oh, oh, no, his the... voice and Andre's voice. Give us the gay key. <laughs> I have no gay key. It's around your neck. Throw his arms up. Oh shit. Oh, you mean this <laughs> <gay> <laughs> Oh. Under you, Princess Barqua, man oh, and wife, sing man and wife, man and wife. <laughs> the way he said that. When is this body going to kick in? It's so useless bringing Wesley. 
And he goes like, we'll make a plan. The man in black will help us. It has been useless so far. Cabbage. <laughs> is it that a way? My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. That's the line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that. He's getting away from me, Bessie! Please! <laughs> 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 it's just... It's, it's like gonna... Oh my god. Oh my god. Going back for him. Oh, oh shit. shit. Yeah. Well, I definitely wasn't expecting that. There's a shortage of perfect breasts in this world. It would be a pity to damage yours. How did he get there? That's how you. That's how he breaks it, though. I see. Okay. Okay. He's back from the dead. Mate, he's brilliant swordsman. There we go. Oh, I want my father back, you son of a bitch. Oh. Well, at least he got his vengeance. Don't know how he did that. To the death. No. To the pain. Huh? I don't think I'm quite familiar with that phrase. <laughs> Me neither. To the pain means the first thing you lose will be your feet below the ankles. Then your hands at the wrists. Next, your nose. <laughs> Wow, he's gonna slowly. Your ears you keep, and I'll tell you why. So that every shriek of every child at seeing your hideousness will be yours to cherish. Okay, this is worse than just killing killing him. That's proper pain, isn't it? <laughs> I think you're bluffing. <laughs> it's possible, pig. Is he buying time so he can move? I don't know. Oh, he might be. Drop your sword. Yeah, you're done for, Prince. That was so easy. Where's Fezzik? I thought he was with you. No. Where is Fezzik? Here you go. I sat the prince's table. And there they were. Four white horses. Fezzik, you did something right. You did something right? When has he da ever done something wrong? I hope he catches that. Oh, it'd be so funny if he didn't, though. There we go. I mean, to be fair, he's already halfway up in the sky himself. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to do with the rest of my life. Have you ever considered piracy? You make a wonderful Dread Pirate Roberts. Oh, pass it on. Pass yeah. it on to him. They reach for each other. What? What? Now it's kissing again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind so much. Uh-huh. The end. He likes the story. Yeah. Maybe you could come over and read it again to me tomorrow. <laughs> As you wish. Ah, That's cute, isn't it? Stingy's words. Wesley's words, as you wish. And that's the end of the movie. Um, thoughts? I thought that was really good. That was the... funnier than I thought it would the... be. Yeah, I wasn't. I didn't know what kind of what to expect. I was kind of. I didn't know. Like obviously, like it. It when you think about it, obviously watching it, you think, oh, this is like a bit of a Disney movie. Or it's nothing like that. It's a. It's a comedy, within obviously the the story itself. I didn't know it was a book either. Mm. Um, that was pretty good. Um, but the characters are just too funny. It seemed, I, well, I thought it was going to be like the normal 80s fairy tale slash fantasy kind of movie. M yeah. Maybe kind of like, um, what was that one with um, uh, David Bowie? Oh, Labyrinth. Yeah, sort of similar to that or Dark Crystal or whatever. It, you know, that kind of fantasy fairy tale kind yeah. of movie. But it was yeah, no yeah. there's nothing like that. It's nothing like that. It's a guy it's... reading a kid, a kid, a book about... A prince, two guys and two um, people in love, uh, yeah. and yeah. Uh, a bad guy, someone who wants revenge, an adventure, 
It's if you think about it, it's. It, I mean, obviously, this was made in the nineteen eighties, so there's been a lot more of the same story where it's like corrupt prince. Trying to wage a war, and it, 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 there's I'm, a common I'm try, theme. I'm trying to rack my brain. There are other movies like that. It was a corrupt prince, and he wants to do something uh, messed up, and he gets like in other movies, they're like he kidnaps someone, or there's a bride, or something, and he needs to sacrifice something in order to get his way, or whatever. But in this case, it's it's a bit more realistic in the sense that he's oh, right hand man just likes to torture people. Nah. I was going to say that sounds like Willow, but Willow is completely different. The story in that is completely different. I can't think of anything like that now. I know you've said it. But you know what I mean? That same sort of it's got blueprint. The, nuance, the same blueprint yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But again, it, like I said, it was it was brilliant. I, with the actor that I can't name, is I, I think he's I think he's brilliant. I think he's funny as hell. Carrie Ellis. Um, that's the one. <laughs> Oh, I can't yeah. say that. Just... Oh, yeah, it was Robin Wright's first film. It has to. I mean, it says introducing, so it has to be a first film. It must be one of the first movies. That yeah. is crazy. Yeah. I mean, they do yeah. look super young. Everyone does look super young in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even I mean, obviously, with the makeup of obviously Billy Crystal, sounds young. Um, is this the only movie Andre the Giant's done? I thought he I was think... in a Bond movie. Was he? I don't know. Let me have a look. I'm gonna have a look because. <laughs> I'm sure he's been in other. I've never, I've never seen him in a movie. To be fair, I've never actually seen him wrestle either. Well, I wasn't. Um, I was I barely born. I was barely born back then. So, um, but I know he is a famous wrestler. I just didn't know he'd been in a movie. According to Google, I don't know how true this is. He was in Conan. Never seen it. Seen it, yeah. Um, and then some wrestling movies. That sounds plausible. I can believe. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah. I, I, for, I don't know why I thought he was in. Um, I'm getting him mistaken with Jaws in um, Batman, uh, in um, James Bond. We're getting a whole lot of stuff mixed <laughs> up with each other. <laughs> no, I thought We're he mixed I thought up he was with in a Jaws Bond. and I, Batman. Batman and no, Jaws? No. <laughs> I mean, no, I thought, I thought... the guy that had the metal jaw. Yeah, Jaws, yeah. Oh, was that his name in the movie? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that was his name. Um, but yeah, it was quite, he was quite funny in this. So was Inigo at times. Um, the, only, the only thing I've, I'm, I'm a bit kind of... The bit at the end when the granddad was like... Um, he was like, can you come over and read it to me again? And he said, as you the wish. Last, yeah, but the last time they said... He's obviously referencing the book, but the last time they said it in the book... Was when he left to to to, to die, basically, or become. No, he said it again so that she'd realise it's him when they're rolling down the hill. Oh yeah, that's true. As yeah, yeah, wish. that's true. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was rolling down. Yeah, yeah. But I think, I think, like I said, such a simple concept of a story, just a great movie. Yeah, it was quite. Um, it's, I can see why a lot of people like it. It'd make a good family movie, but um, yeah, yeah, great movie. The music at certain points was quite hilarious as well, like yeah. the sound effects they had. That was jokes. Um, yeah, great movie, uh, good cast, um, and I th- but you know what I mean by um, the the labyrinth, dark crystal thingy bit because I think the puppetry, like the uh, the eels and the the rats thingies that were in the forest. Actually, you know what? Now that you say that, what this reminds me a little bit of is the never ending story. That's the movie I was thinking of. Yeah. Minus, it's a never-ending story. I mean, I've not it's... seen it. I know there's a dragon in it or something, right? A dragon yeah. dog. Yeah, but it's it's him reading a book. Oh. Um, but then he, I know it's, I know, I, I mean, I saw that as a, as a kid, but I know he then become, I think it's a trade or something. He then gets somehow, he, I don't know, he, he gets into the book or I don't know what it is, but essentially it's him reading a book, reading the story. Mm. And he's like, He's and loads so engrossed of and loads of fantastical stuff happens yeah. in the book, basically. Yeah. The same yeah, kind yeah, of concept. Yeah. But yeah, all in all, yeah. great movie. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments. What did you think of the movie and our reaction to it? But other than that, please like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one. See ya.